so if you see anywhere i keep my pointer the curl is constant okay hi in this video we are going to cover the concept of curl and believe me this video is completely different it took me 36 days to create this this just one video because i have done a lot of research on this topic and i will show you everything by the means of proof not only the mathematical proof but the 3d proof of, from the perspective of the working model as well so let's start so there are three levels on which we can understand the curl first is the basic level so let's start so basically we can define the curl in two ways one is by mathematical formula as most of the mathematicians uh, define curl and the second way is by english definition which is basically the geometric approach so what is the curl according to the maths so according to maths curl is a cross product of two things out of which one is the del operator which we everyone i hope you know that del operator is defined in this way okay and f is a vector valued function say fx i cap plus fy j cap plus fz k cap so that's it the answer of the cross product is defined as the curl and that's it okay according to mathematics this is only the definition now you can start solving numericals as well let's talk about the english definition now what according to english the definition is given, defined as how much the vector v swirls around the point in question. How much the vector v, so I have a vector, how much it swirls, how much it rotates, how much it is curling across the point or around the point in question. So generally we imagine this diagram and for example, you can see that in this vector field, I can see that my vectors are swirling across the origin, right? You can clearly see my vectors have some amount of rotation, right? They are swirling, they have some amount of sense of rotation. So yes, here curl exists. But if I look at this gram, this vector field, everything is going straight. Nothing like swirling or rotating or anything is curling. Again, everything is going straight. Again, everything is going straight. So the curl of all the above three vector fields is zero. Whereas curl in this vector field exists. And that is what is the basic understanding of the curl. Just the definition and the formula of the cross product. And now let's go into some detail. So let us consider two equations. So this is my vector field equation of the first vector field. Let us try to calculate the curl. So curl of this vector field is given by this. And the final answer is this. I am not going in detail into mathematics because it is easy and intention of the video is something else. So now this is the value which I got through the means of maths. Now let us verify this by the means of working models. Let's talk about this curl. Okay, so if you see anywhere I keep my pointer, the curl is constant. Okay, the curl is not only constant, but its value is also in the z-axis direction. You can see it is in z. Okay, so the direction of my pointer is in z direction. So at any point you keep, you will get a constant curl in this vector field. Okay, so we have analyzed the equation 1. Now let us consider the equation 2. First of all, let us try to calculate the curl across this, across this vector field. So yes, this is the formula and this is the curl which I get. According to the maths, now let us again analyze this curl. So this vector field is represented by the equation x, y cap. And you can see at any point you keep this device, you can clearly see that the curl everywhere is constant and its value is 1 in magnitude. And if you talk about the direction, you can see its direction is in, is in the z-axis. Okay. So in this way, we can calculate the curl not only mathem by mathematical ways, but also we can calculate by the use of models. Now, till here, everything was going fine, but actual problem started from here. See, what can you predict about this graph? Is the curl of this graph zero or is the curl of this graph non-zero? What can you predict? So, of course, everything is rotating. Everything is swirling across the origin, right? So, we can say directly that curl is not zero, right? Because everything is swirling, everything is rotating, right? But in fact unfortunately or fortunately the curl of this vector field is zero so this is the vector equation what can you predict of course we can see that yes points are swirling but let us try to keep a pointer oops this shows curl is zero at this point curl is zero again so at any point you keep this pointer there will be no rotation which tends us which implies that the curl of this vector field is zero throughout the curl throughout the vector field 
Now this is what put me into shock and I cannot upload any video in the month of February because I was doubting myself because either my understanding on curl was wrong or the YouTube teachers which we follow are wrong or the software which I was using was wrong. Right, something was definitely wrong because how can the curl of this vector field can be zero? Everything is swirling, right? How can be it zero? So then I thought let us check out this first. So software works on the basis of the maths. So let us try to check out the equation. So that vector field which you just now saw is represented by this vector equation. And let us try to calculate the curl behind it. And this is the basic thing which we do by multiplying the cross product. And since z is 0, so this will vanish, this will vanish, this will vanish, this will vanish. We will be left over with just this term. And finally, if you calculate the cross product by yourself, I have done everything as a sense of proof, but I will not explain. The value of the first term is this. The value of the second term is this. I have done everything. This is the second term. This is the first term you will get the answer as zero because here it is minus sign here it is minus 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 will become plus this will cancel out this and the curl of this vector field is zero so now mathematics is right my vector model is right so basically there is something wrong with me or there is something wrong with the other teacher so finally i got the loop uh, i got a help from one article on the google which essentially says the loop lies in the last part of the definition, which says how much the vector V swirls around the point in question. Okay, this means that curl is not absolute. Curl is relative. Curl will depend upon what is asked to you in the question. Okay, curl is a relative concept. Curl depends upon what is being asked to you in the question. So basically, then I got to know there are two types of curls. <laughs> one is the local curl, one is the global curl and usually whenever we talk about the curl, we talk about the local curl. So this is my pointer. So at whatever point I keep, my curl will change and that is what is called as local curl. So see at this point, there is some amount of rotation. There is some amount of curl existing, which is say 1.0. Uh, at this point, the curl is bigger in value. Okay, the value is larger. At this point, the value is further large. So yes, you can see the curl is local curl here. It is changing from point to point to point according to the equation of my vector field. We are calculating the curl at points. For example, at this point, at this point, at this point. And global curl essentially means the resultant of the whole vector field. Let us try visualizing something. So suppose this is a metal disc. Okay, and this is a river. Let us consider that river is flowing at a constant velocity. So all vectors are having the same magnitude. So what can you expect? Whether this disk will rotate across its axis? So no, because everything here is balanced force. There is no unbalanced force. So therefore, this disk will not rotate and will continue to flow in the straight direction only because every vector is having the same magnitude. Now, that is what is the meaning of the local curl. Local curl essentially means rotation about its own axis. If an object is rotating about its own axis, that is what is defined as the curl. For example, you can see this object is rotating in this way. It was here first, then it was here, then it come downward. Now notice the magnitudes of the arrow. If I consider a concentric circle and if I notice the magnitude of this arrow, what I observe is the magnitude of all the arrows is completely same, which means there is no unbalanced force. If there is no unbalanced force, this object will not rotate about its axis. So that essentially means there is no rotation. That essentially tells us that the curl is zero. For example, if you consider a metal disc and you keep it in this way, suppose this is a vector field of a river, a river is swirling in this way, okay, in form of concentric circle. If you want to calculate how, whether this object is rotating or not, let us color this object at one point and you will find that even though you have kept that object to flow inside the river, but you will see that object, no doubt it is moving in the direction, but still it is not rotating about its own X. So you can see the yellow points everywhere are the same. Okay, they have not moved about their own axis. So that essentially means that the curl was zero.
Now in this graph, notice the magnitudes of the arrow. You can clearly see magnitudes is increasing constantly. Okay, you consider any concentric circle, you will find magnitudes are increasing on a constant basis. And that is why if you keep any object in this point in, in this vector field it will rotate about its own axis and the yellow, yellow color which i have drawn here as a point of representation you will see that it will rotate and it will rotate about its own axis also and yes curl of this equation exists and let us check it okay so if you see anywhere i keep my pointer the curl is constant so this was all about the curl and I hope you understood the concept most of the times which we are only restricted to the basic concept of the curl hardly anyone uh, reaches till the point of concept but since I got a doubt I was shocked that how the curl of this vector field can be zero so I got into detail and finally after 36 of this research I got my answer so do not feel shy to share this video not only with your classmates but with your teachers as well okay show them like this this thing also exists okay so i hope you understood the concept in the similar way i have a whole playlist on vector calculus with 3d models even i have explained the cyclone analysis just cyclone how the cyclone works just on the basis of the divergence and curl that video is also in my playlist go check out whole playlist everything is covered with 3d working models along with the theory